so hello and welcome to this tutorial video in our study of scientific computing okay so we've been learning bash scripting for some time now and in this video we are going to write bash scripts to do the following so the first script will get a username and a password from a user after which we will run a check for the validity of the user okay so that's the first thing we are going to do and then the second thing we are going to create a function that accepts basic inputs to find the perimeter of a rectangle okay so let's start work so um i've created a script called login right that's what you are going to use to do the first tax okay so um don't be scared that you can see plain lines of course here about 50 percent of them are just comments and i inserted them there to make the understanding of the code very simple okay so the first line of code here the first line is what we call the she bank okay and uh, the she bank helps us so that when the program is run the we will know the interpreter that we have to use so here when it is run we will use the bash okay but even if we don't include it in our program so when you run our program it will work okay the reason why when you run it it works is that um, the default interpreter will be selected which is bash so now let's move on to the main thing so these are all comments okay so i'm like this is a small bash script it will ask a user for a username and a password if correct it will tell us valid user if wrong it will tell us invalid user so now let's just move to the main code so first what i'm going to do is that first i'm going to create variables to store the username and password so i create a variable called rain um, username sorry <laughs> then the username is mathematics so that means the username is mathematics okay so and we create a variable called password right then we put the password inside it which is math4 So now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to ask the user to enter his username and password. So I first echo to the user username. The user will know that what he has to input there has to be a username. So when the user inputs that, I'll read it and store the user's input in a variable called you. And here to I told the user to enter a password. I read it and I store it in a variable called P. I hope you get it. So that means now I've gotten the username and the password from the user. So I have to run a validity check to see if the username and the password provided by the user is what is in the system or not. And to do this, I have to use conditional statements. Okay, so I have to use an if statement and by now you should know the general syntax for writing an if statement in bash if you don't know that please go and learn that we've done that in our previous video i think in lesson 11 okay so you can watch that video so that you know how to write conditional statements in bash so our conditional statement is if the username the user entered right is equal to the username in the system so this here is and so a logical operator and the password the user inputted is equal to the password in the system then echo what valid user else so anything apart from that you what you echo invalid user that's what you are telling the script to do then we always end our if statement in bash with f i f okay so that's the code we are going to do to do the first thing that we wanted to do so let me leave here 
and run this code so it asks me to enter a username let me enter a wrong username let's say a wrong password so you tell me invalid user because that's not the password and username in the system now let me enter the correct username and the wrong password so you see it tells me invalid user do you get that because even though the username is correct the password is what's wrong then now let me enter the right username and the right password that you provided for the system so this is mathematics and the password is math 4 Hule, so it tells us what valid user then let's do a last one so correct username then the password you see the password is started with capital M but let's start with small m and c it's also it's invalid user and that's true because passwords are key sensitive and you can realize that that in your system if your password is in capital letters and you type it in small letters it will tell you it is invalid okay so that's the first thing we wanted to do and we've done that so now let's go to the second thing we want to do so here we want to create a function that accepts basic inputs to find the perimeter of a rectangle and I'm going to show you two different ways in which we can do this okay so I've created a I've created a function a script for that and this is the first script that I created for it so I began with the she bank okay then this is a comment so it says creating a function to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle and I define the general syntax for a function so we start with a function name then after that we open and close parentheses that means to accept arguments okay then we have a curly bracket here then when you come here everything here is the body of the function so the body of the function means what you want the function to do and after that we end it with the curly bracket so that's the general syntax for creating a function in bash so that means for the function i'm going to create i'm naming it peri I, op I open and close parentheses then I start with this so there's a body of the function what it will do so when a function is called ask the user to enter the line because when you are calculating the perimeter of a rectangle you know it is given by twice the length plus twice the width or breadth so that means we need the length and breadth to be able to compute that so I go enter the length right so if data enter the length i store it in a variable called l then enter the breadth so if data enter the breadth i read it and store it in a variable called p then now i have to do my calculation because i have the input and that's how i have chosen to do it i create a variable called x and that is going to store the two times length right i want to do my calculation in bits so two times length right then i'm piping and using the basic calculator with the math model in bash the reason i'm doing that is that i want my program to be able to work even when we have um floating numbers okay and i do the same thing i create a variable called y and that is going to store two times the breadth so that means to get a perimeter which is two times the length plus two times the width 
all the breadth it will be x plus what y then we are piping so that we can still work with what floating numbers so after that then echo to the e sign so display on the screen that the perimeter of the rectangle is then whatever answer we had right then units then we end our function with this here then here what i'm doing is that i'm calling the function peri so let me leave here and let me run this So when I run it, it's telling me to enter the length. Let's say the length is 7.8. Enter the breadth. Let's say 5.2. So it will tell me the perimeter of the rectangle is what 26.0 units. Enter the length, say 7.9. The breadth, say 5. It told me the perimeter of the rectangle is 25.8 units so this is one way in which we can create a function to do what we wanted to do so let's look for a second way of doing that okay so in the second way of doing that i hope you understand all of this right so this is a she bank comments and the general syntax for a function so the, my function name is perry you understand everything here so here you know, what i do is that my function is going to take argument right it's going to accept inputs so it will take two inputs because to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle you need two inputs that's the length and the breadth so what i'm doing here is that i want my e to be equal to the first input times two <laughs> Because the first input will definitely be the length. Then, even if it is the width, it will still be correct because addition is commutative and so it multiplication. Then here to b will be equal to echo. So my second input times 2. Then you understand the rest because we already explained that. So that means that to compute my parameter, it will be a plus b. Right? Then I input to the user. The parameter of the rectangle is this that so you see here i didn't ask the user to make any input right so that means that i have to provide argument for my function when i call it so perry then it takes this input eight and nine so that means the first input that's the dollar sign one will be eight will be replaced by eight and the second one is what nine right so when i should run this to tell me the perimeter of the rectangle is 34 units okay so if you want to change the values you just come to your script maybe let's say now you want to change the e to 12 you don't want to change the width 9 to let's say 90 So when we run this, you tell the perimeter of the rectangle is 204 units. Okay. So this is how to do the two things we wanted to do in bash. So thank you very much for watching and I wish you all the best in your upcoming exams. Okay. May God be with you. So thank you very much.